if nothing else, today's discussion ought to illuminate the fact that some strict recommendation of salt intake cannot be made universally across the board for everybody. There's just simply no way that could be that could be done. And yet, I think most of what we've learned about salt in the general discussions around health are that uh, it's this evil substance. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's an incredible substance. Our physiology is dependent on it. Our cognition is depend on, dependent on it. Indeed, our mental and physical health and our performance in essentially all aspects of life is dependent on it. And I hope I've been able to illuminate some of the beautiful ways in which the brain and the bodily organs interact in order to help us regulate this thing that we call sodium balance. And the fact that we have neurons in our brain that are both tuned to the levels of salt in our body and positioned in a location in the brain that allows them to detect the levels of salt in our body and to drive the intake of more or less salt and more or less fluid and other electrolytes really just points to the beauty of the system that we've all evolved that allows us to interact with